Okay, I had a person um, that watches some of my videos ask a question, how could you use sort of a Ken Burns type effect, I guess, and take one photo on a screen and then move it aside and do another photo, and so uh, another photo take its place. And it's very simple to do. There's, as always in, in Premiere, there's a number of ways to do it. It's the same sort of effect, I'm assuming, that you get sort of with a Java slide, uh, JavaScript slideshow that you'd see on a website. But maybe you want to be a little fancier about it than that. So I'm going to show you, first of all, the easiest way. I've pulled in, I think, six photos here that I've done. I've sized them at uh, 2,400 pixels wide. We know that HD is, is uh, 1920 wide, so it's a little bigger than, than HD, so we could you know, create some, some zooming effects and all here. So I've brought in these uh, six photos. And let's say that first of all, I want them to, maybe I want these uh, photos to, to come on the screen and grow a bit, uh, and then one photo take the place of another one and it grow as well. Now this would work for video as well, if you wanna bring in clips of video. And you want them to zoom in or you want them to uh, you know, zoom away or whatever like that. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the first video. I'm going to do motion up here at the top. See, I'm going to twirl this little arrow down. And I've got position and scale. I'm going to click on the little clock here for both of them where it says toggle animation. The little stopwatch thing there and there. And that's created a keyframe that says this is how big at this point in time this photo is going to be. Well, I don't want it to be 100%. I want it to be maybe 80%. So I'm going to type in 80 in this little hole right here. And so now that's at 80% of its full size photo. Now I'm going to advance over here to the like the very last frame of this. I went past it just a little bit. I'm going to back up by hitting, I'm hitting my arrow left key. And there's the last frame, you see, of that image. So now I want it to be 100%. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to click 100. So now what I've got is I've got the Ken Burns effect on a photo. It's zooming in. And uh, just for the sake, you know, I could make the next photo zoom out or whatever. I'm gonna, just, just for the sake of doing something fast, a fast little tutorial. I'm going to twirl back up. You don't have to twirl it back up, but I like to. I'm going to twirl the little arrow right here back up. So I'm going to click on the little arrow so that it flips back up. I'm going to click on motion. Now I'm, I see I'm clicked on this piece of video, right? So what I'm doing, I'm grabbing the motion effect from this piece of video. I'm going to apply it to these other ones. So I'm going to click on this here. And you see it's, it's got the orange around it so that we know we got this activated. I'm going to do a control C for copy. Now I'm going to click on this piece of video. I'm going to do, I'm going to click in the box here, anywhere in the box and hit, hit paste. Now this one should do the same thing. See these video, these photos are doing nothing, but I'm going to apply motion to all of them. So I'm going to click on this butterfly image that I've got here. Same thing, click in here and control V or paste. Click here. Control V to paste here. And you can either click in here and do a right click and paste, or you can do your Control V and last image and paste. So now I've got five or six pictures with a Ken's Burns effect on it. Now they're all doing the very same thing because I copied and pasted the same motion. You, know, you might want them to pan out, you might want them to go left, right. That's totally up to you, however you want to do it. But now if you want the pictures one to supplant the other one, to slide the other one away, the thing I would do is I go over here to your effects on this side, and here you can. There's a good little thing called push. P U S H. I'm gonna type in P U S H, and now I've got push. I'm gonna put push. I'm gonna drag the push on in between each of these, and let's watch what happens. So I'm just dragging push and applying it to each one to the little area in between. Just drag it over the area in between each of these. And now what happens, you come to the end of your grow, and that one pushes that one out. Cool, huh? There you go. Just like in a JavaScript, uh, in one of the little JavaScript slideshow type things, only you've actually, you can actually do a whole lot more things with this, and you can do it with video, not just photos. Oh, but Tony, I'd rather it not uh, push off to the right, I'd rather it push to the left. You know, see, I, I want the picture to go out this way rather than this way. Well, that's kind of cool too. All you got to do is click on your transition, like the push here, right? And it'll bring up stuff here where you can change lots of different things with the push, the speed of it and all that. But the kind of cool thing is right here, it says reverse. So you click that. Now that push is going to go the opposite direction. Watch it. And it pushes this way. So if I want that to happen with each one of these, I click on those and I would hit reverse on each one of those. So let's just do that right quick just for the heck of it. I kind of like it reversing that way too. So reverse 
and reverse. So now let's watch what we got. I should have made these shorter so it wouldn't be such a long tutorial. But now we got everything. Um, let's scrub through it real fast. We got everything going off to the left. Now I'm going to do a control all and delete this for a second. Let's bring all these pictures back in again. I should, didn't have to do that, but I'm just, just clearing everything out. Let's say we want something a little fancier to happen here, right? Let's say we want this picture to come in small and grow and go to the center of the screen and then move off the screen and uh, another picture come in and take its place without it just pushing it out, right? We want. I'll show you what I'm going to try to do over here. I've done this already on another sequence. I'm going to click on my other sequence that I have. And I've done this kind of thing. So watch what happens. So the picture comes in, it grows, it gets small, it goes out, another picture comes in, it grows, it gets small, and it goes out. A little fancier type thing. Now you could put rotation on this, you could have it rotate in and out. Once again, you could do this with video. I haven't done the best job in the world lining this up, but this is the kind of effect. It's a little fancier thing. You don't just do this with push. This is another one where you're going to use kind of advanced motion type thing. So I'll show you how I pulled this off. Go back to sequence two where I got this. And we're going to click on this again. Once again, we're going to go to motion up here. Click down. Let's put a position keyframe on your little toggle animation stopwatch and scale. Uh, and let's say that we want this, uh, I don't know, this photo to start at 40%. So I'm going to go 40. And there it's small. Maybe we go smaller now. Let's say 30%. This photo starts small, and we want it to start off the screen, right, and come in from this direction. So I'm going to go up here to uh, position, and I'm going to drag this. See where it says 960 by 540 or 960 and 540? These are our positions. I'm going to get on this. I'm going to pull it back. You just clicked on it, and you drag it, and it drags that picture off of your uh, your off of your little stage here, right? So now what I've done, I've pulled this all the way back to 2285. So that's going to start off screen. Now let's say I want that thing to come in. I'm going to zoom in so I can see. So I'm going to grab this little thing here on the timeline, this little bar to zoom bar. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's say I want this to come in about 18 seconds, 15 or, or 18 frames, 15 frames. I'm actually on 17 frames now. And so I want this thing to come onto the stage. Actually I'm going to drag this back over this way and get it roughly center. Now I'm going to Click on another keyframe here, scale, because I want it to stay at 30% until it gets here. So I'm going to click on the keyframe here. I've just added another keyframe that it can start scaling from this point. Now I want this thing to grow until it gets to right about here at, I'm guessing, three, I'm going to say three um, seconds and 23 frames. So I want it to grow up to, let's say, a 100% here. Let's scale that baby up. I'll uh, scale it to about 93%. There we go. Okay, so now I've got it up to the 93%, and I want it to shrink back down again. So I'm going to advance forward a little bit more, and I'm going to shrink it back down to this time about, I'm going to say about 47%. And I want it to be leaving the stage at this point. So I'm going to put a, another position keyframe in. It's going to start its little move at this point. So I don't want it to be moving while it's scaling back down. I want it to be staying, staying put. Then we're going to come out here to the end. And we're going to make the last frame of this thing off the board again. So I'm going to go back here to this. Then where the 971 is here, the position. I'm going to go back off to the left. And so now we've got this kind of motion. Let's look at what we got. If we drag in time, I'm dragging by grabbing this little yellow top uh, thing here for the slider, for the uh, timeline slider. We come in, we start to grow, get to a certain size, boom, we go back, and we slide off the screen. Now once again, I'm going to make this sort of manually push off the screen, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm already clicked on this. I'm once again going to twirl my motion back just because it's a little cleaner this way for me. It helps me visually to know what I'm doing. I'm going to click on motion. I'm going to do a control C. I'm going to go to this other one here. Click on it. Paste. Click on this one. Paste. This one. Paste. This one. Paste. This one. Paste. All right, now, this is not exactly what I have on the other one. Why? Because they're, they're, they're just taking, they're coming in, one's going out, and I'm having a, actually a blank space here. I kind of want one to come in while the other one's on, still on the stage. 
So what I've got, I've got video one, video two, video three. All I really need are two pieces of video here though. I'm gonna pull my little time a little timeline thing back where I've got just a little bit of this one, about half of this one still on the screen, right? So now I'm gonna pull this one here up above it and slide it over to that. So now watch what happens. While this one's leaving the screen, the other one's coming on, right? You're just changing how they move in time. I'm gonna do this one where this one's about halfway. I'm gonna pull this one underneath it. And here we got down they got the butterfly coming in while that one's going out. So all we're doing is we're just changing where these things come in in time. Let's pull this one over here. Same kind of thing. That one's leaving the stage and the other one's still on it. See it? Back over here. Let's do the same thing with this one. I may not be getting these things set the best in the world, but this is sort of how I would pull this thing off. So now we got this kind of deal. That one comes on. As it starts to leave, the other one is already on the stage coming in. Kind of cool. Now imagine if you're doing this with video. Because this kind of thing can be done with, you know, you're on, on the web using JavaScript type stuff. And you can buy little plugins that will do this. But this is kind of a cool thing you can do with Premiere. And once again, there's all kinds of things. You could be applying video effects to that. You could be blurring these things in. You know, uh, that would be kind of a cool effect, actually. Let's say we wanted to do a fast blur in on each one of these. F-A-S-T. I'm coming over here to hit this. I'm going to do fast blur in. So let's do the this this one here. Let's do that on this one uh, too. Fast blur in here. Fast blur in here. Fast blur in here. And I don't know how fast these blurs do come in. But let's check this out. So now I've got this coming. This goes in. It comes in out of focus. It comes into focus. This one comes out. It goes in. Kind of nice. So yeah, those are the kinds of things that are a little harder to do moving photos around and easier to do in Premiere where you got just all kinds of possibilities here. So hope that helps. I hope this tutorial is helpful to someone. Subscribe if you like uh, and hey throw me a suggestion sometimes if there's something you're uh, struggling with and you want to know how to pull it off uh, maybe I can be of some assistance and you know go out there and do some good in the world of YouTube.